what's up it's oakley and i'm making a video about the reasons i hated middle school so i'm i'm not still in middle school i'm in high school i have been um i'm in 11th grade the only reason i wanted to talk about this was because the other day i was volunteering at a dance which took place at the middle school um i did it basically just for volunteer hours or community service hours or whatever for school stuff like that looks it looks good when you're applying to colleges anyways so walking through my old school um if i can i'll put some videos in here Walking through my old school, you know, I got memories back and I was like, huh. And those those memories have, haven't left me. I, I still think about some things that have gone on when I was there sometimes. Um, I guess the number one reason that I hated middle school was because of the rules. I couldn't really deal with it. I'm okay with following rules and stuff. Like, you know, I'm not like a badass, like trying so hard to be a badass or something like that. I just hated the rules. They were dumb and controlling. <laughs> I mean, uh, that, that's normal, right? I was also in extra help classes all throughout middle school. So I only had one year that I could take like a nice class and that class was was technology technology and then home economics which was in sixth grade and they were probably required or whatever but they were cool classes yeah and then i didn't get to take any art classes which sucked because like i'm an artist another reason i hated middle school was because sixth grade is when i got my period and it was horrible it always has been ever since and no that wasn't a direct cause from being in middle school but it was the time um another reason i hated middle school was because uh i had no friends i went into sixth grade and literally like the first thing that happened was i lost my best friend like i mean like i had a crush on him in fifth grade and then we, we went into sixth grade and that summer right between, right from going into it, you know, like going into sixth grade, I lost my best friend who I also had a crush on. And it was horrible. It sucked. Cause like, it, 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 bleh, you know, he left me because he was attractive and he probably was like, oh, I'm attractive, I can become a hoe now. So he became popular uh, and he was popular and I was not popular. And I remember I even texted him on Uvu. I'd, I'd message him on there, even though we weren't friends. Like, like even though like he didn't talk to me, like he was ignoring me like on purpose, but like I didn't know that. Or like I, I didn't know that, the, or, or, or the, or I did know that. But like, I was just like, stop stop ignoring me like pay attention to me i was your friend we were so close and now you left me and you didn't even say anything you just stopped talking to me one day one day when he went to the city i remember because like we were supposed to uvu like 
that night or like the day after or something and it never happened and i i had a uh oh well, i had some like nice acquaintances i i guess i would call them friends but like i don't know i hung out with them in school actually you know i, I had some decent friends in that grade sixth grade and then seventh grade um you know stuff started happening uh i low-key started to figure out i was not straight and things just got hard uh my friend at lunch she would like bully me kind of like joking but not joking like she was a bitch and in the middle of seventh grade um these new this new girl started sitting at my lunch table like at the beginning like when she when she started sitting there i was skeptical because i was like oh no this bitch is gonna take my friends away from me because like i was real tight with my friend e and um yeah and then this girl she just comes over here and uh starts sitting at our table and i'm, I'm like okay i can deal with this i can deal with this i'm not insecure about losing friends i'm okay and and then so um basically what i thought was gonna happen happened and i got my friend stolen stolen away from me and remember one day like we literally ignored each other during lunch which is extra yeah i know and then instead of going to lunch every day i would go to the library because like you could get a pass and uh i'd listen to music on the computer and play video games or print music or whatever i was doing i stopped going to lunch and i kind of stopped having lunch in school like i'd bring like a granola bar or something and then eighth grade um the summer from seventh grade to eighth grade i cut my hair off um and i was living in the basement in the basement i'm in the basement right now you can't really tell um i was cool with it it's scary at night sometimes in eighth grade i <sighs> I, I don't think i had any friends really um i mean could you blame them the friends that i did <laughs> the friends that i did have in eighth grade were the ones that lived close to me like physically streetwise and stuff and um <clears throat> i hadn't had a class with them like ever like like the only time i ever had a class with one of those friends that lived near me was probably sixth grade and that was probably the only time like honestly like really like the only time and um they started like they became popular and smart <laughs> and stuff and i didn't um I basically had no friends in 8th grade. Yeah, I lived in my basement. I tried to get my shit together. I started trying to do something with my life, really. I tried getting better at art and getting better at music so that basically I could just say fuck you to everyone that treated me badly. And um, I, I still honestly hope that someday, uh, ugh, that someday I will make them jealous because they put me through a lot of emotional shit you know but mainly the rules were horrible i remember this one time i came into school late because i stayed home to finish writing an essay i, I needed to finish I, I needed to finish reading my book and then i needed to write my essay and then i got a ride from my brother i was in seventh grade i think he drove me to school, I got to school, handed in a pass or whatever the hell I did, I don't remember. Okay, I arrived not too late, maybe like around 10, and um, I finished my essay because my teacher was like, you need to have this done tomorrow, and I was like, shit, I don't have it done, and so I did it, and then I came in, and then at 6 period, which was, I was, I was in Italian, Italian class, and... 
I got called down. I went to the main office, and then this lady was walking with me. This lady was walking with me back to this other little room, and she's like, Why do you come in late? And I was like, Um, I had like I had to go to the orthodontist, uh, like I had like to get my braces fixed or whatever. I had braces back then. And they fucked me up. So she brought me back into this little room and she's like, I know, I know that, that you, you didn't, didn't go, go to, to the, the orthodontist. orthodontist. I started crying. I was like, oh my God, like, I didn't go to the orthodontist. I stayed home to write an essay. And like, like, fuck you, bitch. You made me feel like shit for doing nothing wrong. <laughs> I did nothing wrong and she made me feel horrible. Another time, I, for, I forget exactly what was happening, but so I had a locker that was kind of like away from everybody else's locker and I went to my locker to get something because like this lady's like, oh, like you have to come with me. And I was like, okay, can I like get my stuff from my locker? And she's like, yeah. And so I walked down the hallway and made a right turn. And then she's like, where are you going? And I'm like, my locker's over here. And then so I went to my locker I got my stuff and she just made me like feel like a criminal and stuff like that. I'll probably talk about this shit again some other day, but thank you if you watched it for whatever reason you have. My house is haunted.